Hi, I'm Jake Archibald, a developer at Lanyard, and I want to share a, an interesting bug we found in, in WebKit recently. So, this is our, one of our event pages, and as you can see, we've got these track and attend buttons here. So if I decided, yeah, I want to go to this conference, I, I would click on that. And as you can see, there's like a little spinner appears, and then and the button changes. But we notice this thing happening on the, the rest of the page. The text rendering is, is completely changing. You can see the the anti-aliasing sort of around here, and then some other artifacts like this uh, this line down here, it kind of it changes position, uh, like, like some padding has, has changed around it. This is Chrome, uh, the um, normal released version. Uh, it happens in Safari as well, so this is obviously a WebKit issue rather than uh, something unique to Chrome. We're going to Chrome Canary, this is the same page in Chrome Canary, we click there. The issue is uh, it's kind of the same, but not as uh, not as much. You know, the the aliasing is not is not changing the same way. But we still get the issue where this line is is bumping up and down. In fact, you can see in some places the text colors are changing. This effect is much more pronounced when I've got this hooked up to uh, a monitor. I've got a, a second monitor that I use at my desk, and I've got that color calibrated uh, so the colors look more like my laptop. And it's almost like when I press this button, uh, some of the the, the colors on the page are reverting to uh, before the color correction, which is very odd. So, what's triggering this bug? Let's go back into the normal Chrome. It's because in here, this spinner that appears, this the spinner is uh, an SVG element that we're rotating around using CSS animation. What Chrome's doing when you ask it to do this CSS animation is it's going to convert that uh, SVG element into a bitmap, it uploads it to the graphics card, and then it does the animation on the graphics card, and that's why you get really nice performance. Unfortunately, doing that thing on the GPU, it's actually uh, sending more of the page to the GPU. We can see in the dev tools, if I tell it to show the paint rectangles, and if I click on here, you can see those rectangles around all the bits of text. It's re-rendering a lot of the page. And that's that it shouldn't be doing that. That's not what we want it to do, because it should just be changing that, that tiny bit of the page there. So the fix is, is really interesting. So if we go to the, the element of the button, and you see there, I'm going to go up to one of the, the common elements of, of both of those buttons. So this is our, I'm going to go to this div here uh, with class secondary. Now, if I make that element position relative, I spell that correctly, then what will happen here is we still get the bug. You can see the text is still uh, still changing. But if I were add, add on to that, set index 1, and that's it, we're fixed. Uh, I'll just make this a bit wider so you can see. The animation's still happening, but none of the text is changing. So what's the reason for this? Well, I don't know for sure, but I assume when that doesn't have the Z index, it makes it possible for any of this text on the page to appear above those buttons, probably because they have position relative um, and they're lower in the HTML order, meaning that text could appear on top of that button. And that means that the um, when the GPU is doing the animation, it needs to layer that over the top. So that means anything else that can layer over the top needs to be on the GPU as well. And subpixel rendering, which is the stuff you see uh, where the, you can see the fringing on the text, it's got slightly different colors because it's making use of the red, green, and blue on the monitor. It can't do that, so it falls back down to uh, standard anti-aliasing, and that's the switch that you're seeing. As for the bits where these lines are moving, um, I'm not so sure why that's happening. But there you go, there's the fix. Put something on the Z index on one of the parent elements of your animation to make sure that that's always going to appear on the top. And that way, unrelated text around the page doesn't need to change.